Hey, what's up guys? How you guys doing? This is Ray. I took some time off. I'm back. So let's get right to it. Over here, we're looking at the Massey CT4. Definitely one of my favorite compressors. I know a couple of guys that only use it for drums, but I use it on everything. Piano, sims, I use it on everything. I don't care. It works. It's transparent. It sounds good. It's light on the CPU. Barely has any uh, latency. So it's an awesome uh, plugin and it's easy to use. Look at the options here. You have your attack, you have your release, you have your compression knob, makeup, you have a meter here that shows you how much compression is going on. Now, when I first bought this, the one thing I wanted this plugin to have was a key input. I wanna have the ability to sidechain, but it doesn't have it. So let's take a look at the CT5. As you can see, there's a couple of things that are different. It looks different, but let me show you some of the three functions that were recently added. Now we have this key input, which I talked about when I was showing you the CT4, now that it has is you're able to sidechain, which is awesome. Uh, you have this limit option here and you have this blend option here, which I think is pretty cool. You're able to blend between the compress and the dry signal, awesome. And the rest of the options, basically like the CT4, you have your attack, your release, you have your compress, you have your uh, makeup, your output, and you have your meter which basically it shows how much compression is going on. As far as CPU and latency, this program is really light on the CPU and has no latency. Let me show you the mixer. If we're looking at the mixer, it shows you one on the delay. You know, I got some applications there that 200 plus when it comes to the delay and you have to turn on the delay compensation or you have to do it manual if you're not using uh, Pro Tools 9 or 10. All the Massey plugins are pretty, uh, good when it comes to the resources. Now here's something that's pretty interesting. If you own CT4, check it out. You could upgrade to the CT5 for only $3. If you don't have any of the plugins and you wanna purchase this, it's only 75 bucks. So there you go guys. If you have any questions, post on the bottom, check the description. You see that subscribe button, click that. One more thing guys, if you need to get a hold of me, don't use the YouTube system. Sometimes I don't get the messages. Check the description. You're going to have my email address. This is Ray, and I'm out of here. Later, guys.